This is John with Cruising Addicts, and today we're going to be taking you on a tour of Carnival Elation. Carnival Elation is a fantasy class ship that launched in 1998. She's 71,909 gross tons, 855 feet in length, and she has a capacity of 2,190 guests and 900 crew. We're going to start our tour up on deck 15 and this is forward on the ship this is a nice open area has some great views lots of loungers and this area gets seldom used a uh, great place to go and kind of get away from everything but do be aware that the ship's horn is here and can be very loud uh, moving down from here you're going to go down to deck 14 and we're still forward on the ship and in this area you're going to find the shuffleboard um, and then wrapping around the glass top of the atrium you're gonna find the nine hole mini golf and this is a tons of fun for the family uh, they put this uh, mini golf course in a great area on this ship and it's one of our favorite features Also on deck 14, you're gonna find some cabins and you have some of your scenic ocean view, Grand Vista and your junior suites as well as interior cabins. Moving down to deck 12, which is the sports deck, you're gonna find your spa area, your uh, cloud nine spa, as well as the top level of the atrium. And the atrium spans from deck 12 all the way down to deck seven. And this is where the highest level of the glass elevators reach. So moving around through the wraparound of the atrium, you're gonna turn into the elevator lobby and you'll find your spa entrance here. At the time it was closed when we visited this area. But here's your check-in desk, and as well as there's a beauty salon in this spa. There's also a spa relaxation room where you can wait for your appointments and as well as there's some treatment rooms including massage rooms there's quite a bit of fitness equipment here for a ship this size it has quite a bit there's bicycles weight machines treadmills ellipticals pretty much everything you can imagine and as well they have a fitness studio where you can do the classes and aerobics and that type of stuff moving around the atrium lobby you're gonna find the two entrances to Camp Ocean and it's divided up into the penguins that are two to five years old stingrays six to eight years old and the sharks that are nine to eleven years old and there's lots of fun activities here like arts and crafts songs games toys dancing movies and video games for the kids to enjoy moving aft on deck 12 we have a sun deck here that wraps around the funnel and then you also have the entrances to the waterworks water slides on this side of the ship you have a uh, set of racing water slides and then if you walk around you're going to find some spaces here that are available for lounging quite a few loungers in this area and some great views looking down onto the Lido deck but around the other side of the funnel you're going to have the entrance to the twister water slide which is a multi-story uh, enclosed tube and part of the tube actually hangs out of the side off over the side of the ship and it's a pretty neat feature this is a very fun water slide even though we have never ridden it uh, but we'll have to take advantage of that sometime but as you can see it, it dumps out on the deck down below and it's a pretty high ride Moving down to deck 11, you have the veranda level here and you have some cabins forward. This is gonna be junior suites as well as interior cabins. Moving outside on deck 11, outside of the atrium area, you're gonna find a really nice relaxing covered area with some seating and some outdoor games. And here you'll find a ping pong and a shuffleboard table. A really nice area to hang out if the sun is beaming down. This area overlooks the sun deck down below and the Lido deck and gives you great views of the ship. There's a tons of loungers here. As you can see, it's a really great spot to go and sit out and get some sun. Uh, here you are walking around the Lido area of the sun deck 
and as you look to the right you can see there's a stage there's usually like a steel drumist there or some music or DJ lots of fun and moving on towards the rear of the ship the aft you'll find some more outdoor loungers here as well and we're just looking back towards over the Lido Moving further aft on deck 11, you're going to see the exits of the slides, so the waterwork slides. And here you'll see the orange and green racing slides that are right next to the funnel. And also there's two smaller children's slides there, the purple ones on the right. And moving around, you're going to see the uh, twister, the big yellow slide. It dumps out right there next to the racing slides. Um, there's some good sun deck area back here behind the waterworks exit so if your kids are enjoying the slide you can hang out here kind of keep an eye on them and enjoy some sun and uh, i don't know how much peace and quiet though moving down to deck 10 aft you're going to find tiffany's restaurant and this is your buffet area there's also quite a few other uh eateries inside of here and as we're going through you're going to see swirls there on the right uh, moving forward of swirls you're going to see, or actually moving aft, you're going to see your continental breakfast so to the right here, lots of seating. All the way aft there is a uh, bar in the very back and opposite of it is also your pizza pirate restaurant which is all the way on the other side. Here you'll see the omelet station and as you move forward you're on the other side here of the continental breakfast that usually gets served a lot earlier than the buffet maybe about an hour or so so that's always put out like yogurt and pastries and some fruits and whatnot uh, and then here to your right you're going to see like a beverage station also your uh, buffet and this will be set up for breakfast lunch and dinner and one thing in this area that's pretty cool is these beer dispensing machines. As you can see this one here, it's about $4 a beer and pretty cool. No tipping involved, so you save a few dollars. Moving forward on deck 10, you have the Lido deck pool and it's the only pool on the ship. There's also two hot tubs and quite a bit of loungers, a lot of deck space here to enjoy the outdoors. On the port side of your Lido area, you're going to find your Blue Iguana Tequila Bar. And uh, this is one of the bars that are outside near the pools. And on the starboard side, you're going to find the Red Frog Rum Bar. Uh, both of these bars pretty much serve the same drinks, but uh, just different theming. And then moving from the bars to aft, you're going to find your outdoor restaurants that are located uh, towards the aft of the ship on the Lido deck. And that's going to be your Guy's Burgers, which is a very popular spot on the ship to eat. Uh, the lines can get long, but they move pretty quick. And they have uh, Guy Fieri's famous burgers here. And on the opposite side, you're going to find the Blue Iguana Cantina where you can get tacos and uh, burritos and the such. And it's also a very popular spot, but the lines are usually kind of long there. Moving forward on deck 10, you're going to come to the elevator lobby. It's the forward elevator lobby. And Alation has three sets of elevators. There's going to be four elevators forward, four elevators midship, and four in the aft area of the ship. And also in the forward section, you're going to find the two glass elevators. The glass elevators are available to ride from deck seven, the Empress deck, all the way up to deck 12. And uh, it's a great view. I always love riding these. As you can see, you can see everything going on in the atrium. Moving down to deck nine forward, you have the Mikado Show Lounge. And this is where all of your carnival playlist production shows are going to be uh, seen at. This lounge is two levels. Uh, it spans from deck nine to deck eight. And uh, the quality of the shows are really good. We watched most of the shows on this cruise. We sat in several places, but this was up on the upper level. And as you can see, the view is pretty good. Moving aft on deck nine, you're gonna to come to the Pixels Photo Gallery, and this is where you can purchase and look at all of your photos that you've taken at the uh, ports on the ship uh, during Elegant Night and any of the other backdrops that are available. 
This ship hasn't been updated yet to the digital display of photos. So here we have the old school printed copies available to view. Just right off of the Pixels Gallery, you're gonna find the arcade on Deck 9, and it is a tiny little arcade. Not very much here, as you can see. There's maybe a dozen games. Uh, so it's not gonna keep you entertained too long, but still it's there and available. Moving around onto the other side of the atrium lobby on Deck 9, you're gonna see a lot more panels where to display the photos, but here you can have a good view of the atrium from the top to the bottom, all the way from deck 12, all the way down to the bottom at deck seven where the stage is located and the bar as well. Moving aft on deck nine down the promenade, you are gonna find the Casablanca Casino and this is a really great casino for this small of a ship. They have quite a few games, everything from video poker, to all of your different kinds of slot machines and they have lots of table games as well blackjack roulette craps um, so a good spot to come if you're a gamer and enjoy casino games and here to your right there's a bar also and lots of seating along the promenade this is a good area to come and kind of relax Moving off to the right here, you're gonna see the Pixels Dream Studio Gallery where you can go and like meet and look at all your photos and that you've done in a uh, custom photo shoot. Also, you can see the other end of the casino here and there's uh, table games. Moving further aft on the deck nine down the promenade, you're gonna to come to uh, several things here. You got the Romeo and Juliet Lounge and this is where they have comedy shows, karaoke, all that type of entertainment. And it's a pretty good size lounge for this size of ship. Uh, it's laid out really nice. You got your stage over here to the right. There's a bar on the left and lots of seating throughout the area. A really cool spot to enjoy. And there's even a dance floor there in the middle if you decide to get your groove on. Moving further aft down the promenade, you're going to see Cherry on top to your left here. And that's your Carnival candy store with all the sweets that you could ever imagine. And that will definitely get your blood sugar up a notch or two. But great little shop for candy. And straight across from it is the Java Blue Cafe where they have coffee and all those drinks. Moving further aft on deck nine down the promenade, you're going to come to the Limelight Lounge and another lounge here that's a little bit bigger than the first lounge we went through and a lot more seating you got a bar to the right a lot of uh, little individual stools and tables you have a few sofas here to the right and left with the tables as well as some customizable seating that they can move around pretty large stage and uh, they held everything from live performances to comedy club type stuff here Leaving the lounge and moving further aft on deck nine of the promenade, you're gonna to come to the Swarovski store and they have all your items that you would buy from them, such as jewelry and uh, whatnot. And uh, moving a little bit further down, you're gonna to come to the Alchemy Bar. And Alchemy Bar is one of those unique spots that Carnival has on their ships that serves a pharmacy style beverage and there's lots of great seating in here even though we didn't drink at this bar during our cruise we actually lounged in this area several times and off to the sides from the bar there's some good seating like this area here right in front of us there's a lot of bar stools as well but these seats are really comfortable and we sat here a couple of times during our cruise cool little bar area as you can see, this is, uh, it's not very big. It's kind of tight actually through here. I wasn't even able to squeeze through to uh, get any more shots there, but it is a cool area. Moving further aft on deck nine, you're gonna come to some cabins. There's just a few back here, and this is all balcony and interior cabins. And these hallways lead out to the Serenity area. It's kind of in a different spot on this ship, very far back in the aft area. But once you pass through the doors, you can also come down that stairwell to the left there. 
Um, this area is not very big. It's just this spot here on this ship, but uh, it does have two hot tubs. Uh, there's a bar here and there's quite a few loungers, but it doesn't get used a whole lot. I think it's underused on this ship because most people can't find it uh, and it's not in the most obvious spot. Moving down deck nine on the aft of the ship, you're gonna find your inspiration dining room. And this is one of the main dining rooms. There's two on this ship. This one is for your set time dining. The one forward is gonna be your anytime dining. But it's a really nice dining room. Actually, we don't we do not do the set time dining. We do anytime, so we've never eaten in here. But it does look very cozy and nice. Looks a little more modern than the other dining room. Moving forward on deck eight, you're gonna to come to the Imagination dining room. And right at its entrance, you're gonna find this cool Carnival Imagination model. This is the dining room for those that select anytime dining, and it's a nice dining room. It's pretty big. These never really get filled up. I don't think I've ever went to a meal here and it was totally full. Very comfortable seating. The menus are, are pretty good and definitely recommend eating in the main dining room. Now moving forward from the dining room, you're gonna find Duke's Piano Bar, and this is a really fun spot to come in the evenings and relax, have a drink, and listen to some pianists, play some tunes. Pretty good amount of seating here for this size ship. You've got bar stools all the way around the piano, and a really cool New York theme here. You can see the face of the Statue of Liberty also, but a really cool spot to relax at. Moving around the atrium on deck eight, over to the other side of the ship, you're gonna find the Mark Twain Library. And this space is also used for the chef's table, uh, premium dining as well. They'll have this uh, set up in the evenings for that. But uh, a good space to come and play a board game or, or read a book and it's super quiet during the day. But just be advised that in the evenings, they're gonna be using it for dining. I'm moving forward on deck eight. You're gonna come to the liquor store and it has just about every kind of liquor you can imagine as well as cigarettes and all duty free of course. Moving around the atrium, you're gonna find on the opposite side, Circle C, and this is your young teens club, uh, ages 12 to 14, and spot where they can come and hang out with some friends and have a good time. Moving forward on deck eight, you're gonna find the fun shops and this is all your jewelry stores, your carnival merchandise, everything else that you could buy on a cruise ship is gonna be located here. Sometimes you can find some good deals, uh, especially like on the last day of the cruise in the uh, carnival logo shop over here, you can find some good stuff and sometimes jewelry at a decent price. And moving all the way forward on deck eight, you're gonna find the lower level of the Mikado Show Lounge. And uh, again, this is a really good place to come and watch one of the playlist production shows. A lot of comfortable seating. I think I prefer the lower level than the, the upper level. It just seems like the views of the stage are a lot better, especially in the center area where we're standing right here now. Um, off to the side, we watched a show in this area and it was a little bit harder to see, although we were pretty close to the stage, so it wasn't really a bad seat, but we did enjoy every show that we, we went to. Now moving down to deck seven forward on the Empress deck, you're gonna have some more cabins here, and then moving further aft, you're gonna find the atrium lobby, and again, this deck spans a total of six decks from deck seven all the way up to 12. In the atrium lobby, you can find live music here, usually like a violinist or guitarist singer, and you can also enjoy drinks here at the bar. In the atrium lobby, you'll also find the guest services desk, as well as the shore excursion desk where you can book your shore excursions. Right off to the side of the atrium lobby, going towards the glass elevators, you're gonna find a computer lounge where you can access the internet. 
Moving aft on deck seven, down the center hallway, you'll find the art gallery and it's a pretty extensive collection of art. They usually have an auction during the cruise and uh, you can actually buy one of these works of art. Moving further aft on deck seven on the Empress deck, you'll find the aft cabins here and it's a mixture of interior and balcony cabins. Moving down to deck six, five, and four, you're gonna find a mixture of ocean view cabins as well as interior cabins. We hope you enjoyed this tour of Carnival Relation, and if you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Like this video for us, we really appreciate it. Also, subscribe to our channel for more cruising content, and visit our website, cruisingaddicts.com. Happy sailing.